Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. How to place collection pans when driving the S spread pattern test. While the center pass test is the quickest and easiest to set up, the S pass driving method of spread pattern testing is the best. The S pattern most closely duplicates actual field conditions. Here is a comparison of the pan layout for the two types of driving patterns. There are two extra markers in the S pattern. These markers will require exactly one more swath width. In addition to the extra width, the S pattern requires room to turn your equipment in the opposite direction two times during the testing process. You'll need a long run of at least 150 feet of length to do this. Newton Crouch sells a spread pattern test kit. It includes the density scale, 11 collection pans, test tubes and rack, funnel, and measuring tape. Lay out your collection pans based on your swath width. There will be a center pan, identified by color or a flag, and four or five pans on either side of the center. The chart below shows the pan layout. This chart is available online at newtoncrouch.com technical tips. Using our chart, let's set up the pan placement for a 60-foot swath driving the S pass. Start by using the tape to measure out your swath width. Locate and place your center pan. Working out from the center, first to the left, add five pans, measuring 72 inches center pan to center pan. Repeat to the right. For a 60-foot swath, center of pan 1 to center of pan 11 is 720 inches. Go back to the center pan, measure one complete swath to the left, mark the end. Repeat the process to the right. Your completed pan grid will be as shown in this drawing. There will be one half swath, one full swath, and one half swath. The two locations shown with the yellow triangle will not collect material. They are simply guides to be used by the operator as he drives the S pattern. They may be a flag or a pan placed upside down. Our spreader is going to make its first pass over the end pan that is turned upside down and marks the half swath. Our operator is making his turn. Now he will line up and cross the center pan. Our center pan, which is red, is clearly visible to the tractor's driver. The operator has made his final turn. He will now pass over the half swath marker and complete the test. Each pan is carefully emptied into a test tube using the funnel. The pattern is evaluated to see what, if any, adjustments need to be made. The desired pattern for an S driving pass test is a flat top. There is a separate video on correcting your spread pattern. Do you have a wider swath? Newton Crouch Equipment has extended range capability and can spread 65, 70, or even 80 feet. The instructions for setting up a wider swath are detailed in a separate video, Pan Placement for Extended Range Swaths. The instructions in this video are in your operator's manual. Your manual was made specifically for your unit. The Newton Crouch website also has this information. Go to www.newtoncrouch.com. The Support tab and Technical Support tab will take you to the dry section where this information is available. Visit us on YouTube. We are continually adding new tips. Please view the videos How to Determine Your Product Density and How to Perform a Spread Pattern Test with Your Dry Fertilizer Spreader before heading to the field. These videos complete the information necessary to get the best results. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940. Newton Crouch, Inc.